Hello and welcome back to the Rose Gallery. This is Bomberman. Or Bombslinger, whichever you prefer. So in Bomb Slinger, we are the titular Bomb Slinger on a quest for revenge. And when you first start, you only have three items in one slot. I've played a bit, so I have more. As you complete certain objectives, you get more items and more slots unlock. I kind of want to start pretty simple, so I'm just going to choose the Clover, which is luck. Uh, black Coffee, which will give me a boost to everything. A boost to health with the Wife's Locket. And then uh, Wife's Memento, which will revive me if I die. So I could pick much better items, but I kind of want to show off the game as close to vanilla, but not super close. So we'll see how I do. The time I did beat this game, I picked much better items to do it. But I am also not good at Bomberman. I need to be coached. I apologize in advance to all the Bomberman lords out there. Go. But yeah, this game is is Bomberman. I, there's not a lot else to say about it. Uh, once we clear this room, we'll be given a choice of different areas to go to on our little mini map up at the top right. So our objective is to find the boss, but there are different stuff along the way. There's a treasure room, there is a shop, uh, maybe a few other things, and there's experience. We could level up. And I think I'm going to choose more luck, because luck's a pretty rare upgrade, and luck is important in this game. It influences the items that drop, it influences health drops. If you have high luck, you're going to have a good time. And my luck is very high. some money though. So let's go over enemy types so far. We have goats, which tend to just run at the first thing they see, even if it's a bomb. They'll headbutt it to no real effect. We got guys in pajamas. They are somewhat aware of people and bombs. They understand what a bomb is. Take care of this last guy. Wait. Or not. Hey, Make this easier, just trap him in there. Wait. So I could use. Oh, I do have enough money to open that chest. Let's go see what that thing is. Generally, chests that cost money have significant upgrades in them. Like a map. That'll be useful for this. Now I can see where all the special rooms are. And that'll make this playthrough pretty fast if I don't dawdle about. So I played this game for like a week. I just beat it today. Uh, like I said, I'm bad at Bomberman, so I'm sure Bomberman experts could do it much faster. We got the Anka, which is a resurrection item, the second one. A bunch of keys and snake oil. Snake oil is fun. Basically it's a random potion, usually it takes a health in exchange for 
some sort of other benefit. So let's drink this. That was pretty good. What about this one? All right, same. I lost a bit of speed, but I put myself in a much nicer position. I do like speed, though. So these shotgun guys are aware of sound. Also, this is very bad for me. Just need him to move a little closer or not. So I'm gonna go with faster movement, get that speed back that I lost. These things go across the whole row. Generally, the order I like to do is faster movement and then bomb spread and then maybe an extra bomb after that. Really don't need extra bombs, but sometimes there are just no other good options. Because the level up items are all three random picks. You could get a bunch of garbage and have to choose between nothing good for a while. Or you can get great stuff every time. That guy should be dead. That guy is definitely dead. He wants no part of that. Looks like we got a shop over to the right here. I probably won't have enough money to buy anything. Yeah, shotgun guys are the most dangerous thing to worry about in this level. But yeah, extra bomb spread would be kind of nice. As you notice, with just covering one square in each direction, I'm not able to do a whole lot. I'm doing a lot of missing. You have to play much more uh, reactively. But this will help. Uh, so what if Bomberman had a gun? It would work kind of like that. Items in this game use Spirit, which is the blue gauge on the top left. Shotgun uses a lot of it because it destroys obstacles on the way. The guy just slept through getting murdered. Let's see. Like I said, I want more flame power. That's going to be useful. So now I'll hit him. Spirit will also very slowly come back. Oh man, this is a good item too. Seeker bombs do kind of what you think. The explosion actively seeks out up to three enemies. But I kind of like the shotgun more. Although I suppose I should just show it off. So I'll go back and grab it in a second. And that is the boss door. I can't afford anything that's good, so I'm gonna ignore all that stuff. Let's grab the Seeker Bomb. And our first boss is gonna be the GOAT! The greatest of all time. Actually, the easiest boss in the game. He likes to run at you. So as long as you stay at the end of the row and pay attention to those other guys. He will headbutt bombs. Can 
I got uh, extra health. All right, things are looking up. And then somehow that other goat died too. Was not paying attention to him. All right, so Dead Valley is our second level. A little bit harder, not that much. We can at least try out our Seeker Bomb. So let's drop this sucker, see what happens. Murdered both those dudes. Uh, let's see, do we want more bombs or more spirit? Spirit's really good with the weapon I have. But I do... I could go with another bomb. Secret bomb is also a bit cheaper than the shotgun. Alright, looks like shop is to the left, so let's go that way. This map is going to make this LP very fast. You should generally kind of just explore and try to get all the experience you can, but not me. I'm all about speedrunning. Another shotgun. Both these are very good items and pretty rare. So that's where luck comes in handy. Get these good drops. All right, so this guy has a gun. This dog here can recognize a bomb when he gets to it, not before. Dogs have evolved the capacity to recognize explosive devices in this universe. These guys kind of operate by sound, so you can sort of lure them over towards bombs. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? Let's just do this. One thing about the Seeker Bomb is you do have to be careful not to be in the path towards an enemy, or else you will get blown up. If only I had a little bit longer range on these bombs. You're killing me, dog. Got him. I'm still kind of poor, but let's see what's in the shop. Oh, this is real good, but I can't afford it. The bomb detonator basically lets you choose when the bombs detonate rather than wait for them to explode. There's no way I'll get enough money for it in this level, and I'm extremely sad. But hey, maybe they'll pop up somewhere else. So my spirit is refilling slowly but surely. I wish it was a bit faster, but I can get items for that. Or I can get this. All right, so we got a Molotov guy here over in the bottom left-ish. If he sees you, he will throw projectiles that can pass obstacles. I don't want to deal with him, so... You know what, I don't want to deal with any of these guys. Seeker Bomb's real good. 
All right, let's see. Let's regenerate spirit a bit faster. I'm basically a Bomberman wizard right now. Mage class Bomberman. So there are two possible fights in every level. This guy is, I guess, kind of the harder one. Not really, though. You're dumb like me, he is. But he can throw knives either straight ahead or to the side. Or make us slice around the general area. But now he's dead. Do not have a lightning rod, that was my last failed run. So there's gonna be an enemy type around here that's very annoying for me. Uh, looks like I wanna go left. So we got some more dogs, these guys can go through bushes. Magic bushes that make you invincible. They also chase you if they see you. They however do not recognize bombs. Uh, that's a super good upgrade I just got. So it allows you to jump over obstacles. And it's going to trivialize the last boss of the game. And maybe other bosses, who knows. So boars will charge you if they see you. They're much like uh, the goat boss. They push bombs around. As long as you're at the end of the row, you should be fine. And then we'll give this guy a little present. And head uh, south. That was a mistake. Let's see what we got in the chest. Another key and a bunch of gold. I could wander over to the shop and see what's there, but I'm feeling pretty confident about my odds right now. Don't think there's anything that could stop me. Oh, we haven't seen one of the, the crazy gold guys. Uh, so this guy has an area attack around himself that knocks bombs away. It's very annoying. Uh, there are also shaman who are calling down lightning bolts all around. Gotta lay a bomb before they teleport away. And, you know, not step into lightning like an idiot. Uh, but you too can call lightning if you get the item for it. Where is he? I guess he's immune, which would make sense. The uh, Seeker Bomb is a better item than Lightning, though, honestly. Lightning Storm can hit up to three enemies on the screen, but those enemies have to be staying still and, like, not moving around. Seeker Bomb doesn't really care. It'll go after people. All right, let's see what's for sale. Got some snake oil. Don't care. Uh... Bomb kick, that's super good too. Let's grab that and grab more health. So bomb kick does, uh, it's a Bomberman classic. Kick bombs. Very useful in this game. I don't want to deal with him.
Five. He dropped a shotgun. Uh, Seeker bomb still the king. It's almost cheating. So trappers lay down those traps. If you walk in on them, you lose health. You can blow them up. Uh, what should I level up? I'm feeling more luck. There's almost always an option to get a full spirit or health refresh on a level up, but generally I don't take those, especially if you have high luck, because you can just find health on the ground and find spirit. If you don't have a lot of luck and you're in like a desperate situation, then yeah, you should probably take it. Oh boy, it's this boss. This boss is kind of hard. <laughs> traps and then you have to dodge this Ow. Thankfully if you just lay a bomb you're just gonna land and then walk away. Unfortunately there are a lot of traps around. Now we're on to the last level, Frozen Creek. Looks like the boss isn't too far away. I would like more health, so I might spend a level on that. I don't know why I'm blowing stuff up when I can just hop over things. Hey, we got Indian guys. Uh, so they have tomahawks, which you can use to throw. Maybe. All right. None of that. Uh, we also have Gatling gun guys, who are much like the ones who sit in trenches, except these guys move around. I don't know if we saw any trench guys. We might have skipped them this run. Alright, so let's see what this treasure chest is. It's for the horse. Uh, this will do a fun thing with the horse, but... We won't see the horse again, so it doesn't matter. The fun thing it would do is give you a bunch of gold from the horse. So I'm going to go ahead and refill all my health. I don't know if I'm feeling snake oil. I'm in a pretty good spot right now. I think snake oil could only hurt me at this point. All right, so Indian guys, they have a shield. Uh, so you have to bomb them from a different angle than the way they're putting the shield out. Which can be tricky. Generally, you need to put a bomb in front of them and then move around to a different side of them so they look at you and not at the bomb. Uh, this is a problem. Not anymore, though. Should I go to the shop? No. The answer is going to be no there. I don't even care about that chest.
did that boar go, though? There he is. I do wish I was a little faster. Speed is probably my favorite upgrade in the game. It's the one that's least likely to get you to kill yourself with. More bombs and more flame is dangerous. More speed helps out a lot. Ah, smart bomb. Never really seen these guys in action, so this is what they do. Looks like there's one more around. And now we'll head to the last boss. The most bomber of men. Actually, he's kind of the opposite. We do have to go through this little sequence first, though. Basically, just kill a bunch of enemies in here. But I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna do the cheap stuff. So yeah, his shield just took the blast there. He also has a tomahawk he can throw. The shield will wear out eventually, though. Alright, that's one. So I am saving my level up in case I need a health upgrade in the boss. Now, I could not get a health option, but that's a risk I'm going to take. Please don't come this way. Thank you. Bullet dodger item lets you uh, dodge the bullets, as they say. It only activates very rarely. But hey, whatever works. I think this guy can go through bushes. So at this point, money and pretty much everything is useless now. We're locked in here on the way to the final boss. See how fast I can clean house here. I'm just gonna smart bomb everything. Until I run out of spirit at least. Alright, no more cheapies. Should be good. This is the most health I've ever had in this game. I'm tempted to just drink the snake oil, but not gonna do it. Ah. 
<laughs> you ever seen twins? These two are brothers. Gunslinger's Danny DeVito. The other guy's Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is why uh, this item trivializes the fight, by the way. Because he does that. But you can just hop over stuff, so it doesn't matter. So he always goes left first. So uh, safe is on right. Right is safe. And then they go all the way to the end. So normally you'd want to place a bomb near the front to soak up one of those guys, but... I don't need to, because I got very lucky. So yeah, gradually you get less room to move around. Bomb those little hatches and repeat. All right, now things are going to get a little more interesting. Is this the one? Yes, it is. I mean, it's still vaguely similar, but now they're nitro bombs. And one more. Ah, that's just the nuke. Got him. So now we can choose to either spare our brother or blow him up. And I think the the right answer is pretty clear. Don't fuck with Dan DeVito. Do not fuck with Danny DeVito. Ever. He crawled out of a couch nude. The man's crazy. Anyway, that's Bombslinger. It's alright, I liked it. <laughs>